Hello everybody and welcome to part 15 of my Island Inception series. I'm really pleased with where the series is at. We are now in position to fight the Aztecs on three separate fronts. So this is kind of what we've been going for for a while. Or I should say aiming towards. On land we're currently attacking Tsin Sun Sen after having taken Tlacopan. In the south, we are using a couple boats in our uh, cities down here to attack his units here. And then, of course, he is deep into Samarkand and finally looking like, right when our boats arrive, finally actually making a push for it. So, we kind of want him to take it, but we it's going to be a delicate balance. You know, we, we if he takes it and we liberate it, we don't want him to be strong enough to take it again. Uh, we don't want to be having to spend all of our navy time here because we do have Portugal to attack. And of course, right now, Portugal is allied with Riga. So they're right on the borders of where we're actively fighting. And if they got some bows, we should probably take them out on our way over to Porto. But that obviously would require declaring war <coughs> and giving uh, Maria a heads up. So. That's something we can look forward to. Alright, so let's see here. We'll try and take down... Nice. Oh, very nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's great. I wasn't expecting to be able to take care of both. That's really nice. Alright, he's going to come over and uh, take care of that. Um, I'm still not sure why I'm getting notifications on growth and puppets, but... Okay, we're going to head this over to the capital because of all the multipliers here. National College in particular. Uh, <clears throat> we're down to hills now. We have used up the only two uh, grassland locations we have. So, Ethiopia has denounced the Aztecs and we annihilated them. And I guess they were still at war with China, but not anymore, so that's, that's fine. Okay, this was a gift from Valletta, I believe. And it's... Uh, now got altitude training. So let's get this admiral inland. I see a barbarian there, so let's uh, take our furthest guy and do that. We got another barbarian there, so we'll take our next furthest guy and do that. And then we'll just head over towards Samarkand and then also with the privateer because we will probably have to recapture. Alright, so we have three ship of the lines here. This guy's in the way, which is unfortunate. Are we still not able to get into there? That's true. Okay. So let's see. First things first, let's take out one of the capture units. Still can't get in, okay. Um, let's try to take out another capture unit. Because he does have this one over here. <clears throat> and this is so low he's going to keep trying. So ideally, this is what we would go for. And now we can just go ahead and damage that. So I would assume he's going to move this over to capture Samarkand with his... Um, musket man. Okay, we're just going to head this guy north, get some eyes on Raga, figure out what's going on over there. Alright, so these guys were heading down here to relieve that force, but it might actually have to drive by it, depending on whoever gets furthest. Um, we're just going to have a small detachment on the outside of Coimbra, so that as we take Porto, take Lisbon, you know, our privateer is going to be pretty damaged, and our boats are going to be a little tired, so being able to get a couple in here should expedite that. And uh, once we have those three cities, we can call it a day. Um, this was in Coimbra's borders, but now that Funchal's been settled, we might might want to destroy that. I don't know. I don't think it's too important. I think once we have Lisbon, we can just burn down Porto. Uh, if Porto had the salt, it would be a different thing, but otherwise it's going to be too many cities for us. Or maybe we get a great general over here and seize the salt. Because we're not going to have Braga. So we'd probably be able to, like, depending on where the borders are, 
like set up a great general like here grab another citrus as well as the salt something like that that seems like a good idea anyways the main event so to speak here in Sun Sun Sen we'll get this uh, pikeman down here for visibility well um It's kind of an awkward setup. I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five as far as the longbows. So the question is, do we take a turn just to reposition half of them? So, or, yeah, 60% of them. Because if we do, then this... Is this a hill? Oh, it wouldn't matter. We have altitude training. Okay. So let's do this. All right. He can come over here and snag that. We'll go ahead and do it like this. Uh, which of you would I rather have? You hit harder, so go ahead and do that. And then we'll step like that, shoot. Step like that, shoot. Okay, now all five can get in there, which is great. I'm going to have this worker build a road here. Um, we would not be able to enjoy a city connection to Tsin Sun Sen simply because we're at war with the Aztecs and this tile of the road is in their lands. So by building a road here, we alleviate that. He's healing. Um, we'll set out a worker to, for them to capture, and if they don't, we'll just continue on, um, yeah, he was coming down here to do the farm, okay, he's just, uh, let's see here, this diagonal, so something like that should work, get the most, uh, scouting along the way, if roads there, get up a mine. It's the last of the hills there. And let's see here. Well, the uh, great general would be spread out. Let's just get a little centralized here. Uh, he'll be missing out, but that means he doesn't get bombarded. And then when we do move melee in, it'll probably be among these inner tiles. So that seems good. All right, let's uh, pop our popcorn and enjoy the show down here. Okay, so there we go. Um, we should have to. We should use our boats to um, kill that. Uh, the Gatling gun, because we don't want to take the his only capture unit left. But we did do a good job of taking out his other capture units, and that will prevent the yo-yo I was talking about. Unfortunately, because we got the boats here, he can and he can see that he's kind of staying back, which means we're just not going to be all that effective. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Um, oh, his he had a pikeman in there, so good deal. We'll just back up and heal up. And then he can get out of the way. In fact, you know what? Yeah, we had another one coming down. Okay, he'll be the fill-in. These two are now the southern defense team. Getting a privateer over there for... Oh, that little detachment. Nottingham overflows again. Uh, we're not going to have another specialist slot for a minute, though, so... Now, in this city, if I did have a market already up, I would go ahead and slot it in. But two foods, not the worst of things. All right. Um, he is not home defense, so we can, in fact, move to the extremity. That was slight oversight on my part. Okay, we'll get eyes over there. Let's see. Roads. Uh, let's see. We'll come up here. That's a good place. This is Sparta. Um, let's see here. Great General's going to sit tight for sure. And we now have five clean shots on Sun 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 every single turn. With just enough melee support. Okay, so this caravan appears to be going from Tenochtitlan to Raga, which means we didn't don't need to intercept it. We saw it over here, so it's heading this way. So in one, two, three, four turns, assuming the city's ours, and there's a unit in there, we'll just capture it passively. So this guy doesn't have to be, like, waiting around just for that. On the other hand, this does look like a turn for melee to descend. So perhaps that's what we should do. 
He can reach all the way up here. This guy's healing in the backfield. Um, we'll get him on a hill. Him and Ruff. There we go. And he'll just jump in the water next turn. We'll get a little visibility there. As we do. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, we can actually put some shots into this. So, technically, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six tiles available here that can act on these two. And then one that can act on that. So, can we get seven boats over here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six in this bay and this inland lake. I'm going to have him head due west simply because we're probably going to need it more in Raga than over here. But, um, let's see. So, these boats probably just can't even reach right now. That is true. So what we'll do is we'll kind of head up at an angle, and that way if we need to go down to Samarkand, we can. If we can go up to uh, Raigo, we can. All right, so let's see. We have, and then we'll get him up here for eyes. He'll, he'll, keep, he'll keep track of the uh, cargo ship, figure out which direction it's traveling in, so we know when and where to intercept that. Okay, so if we only got the three boats, I really don't see the purpose in weakening the musket man. Because if he captures and we recapture, then the musket man's just gone. So that's going to be a free kill. We don't need to weaken him for that. Um, and then we recapture, then every unit he's got within the city borders will be pushed out, I think. So maybe it's a good idea for this guy to focus on this guy because he's the one that's not going to get pushed out. And then these two... Um, can we get in here? We cannot. That might be a zone of control thing. I haven't been able to figure out why that is. Um, privateer is fine where he's at as long as he can reach the city. That's good. Um, you, can you reach? Oh, okay. I wasn't even thinking. So we do have another shot. So maybe we just put all three of these into the uh, Gatling gun. Because, yes, he is in borders. He'll probably get expunged, too. But if we kill him first, then all the better. Obviously, the crossbows get hit a lot easier, so we don't actually have to gang up on those. So something like this. Cool. We might uh, be able to kill this guy. Very good. Oh, so good. Very pleased to see that. Because the Gatling guns, you know, era-wise, they're, like, even superior to our army. So if we can get one for free, man, that looked like it was going to be a close call. But we made it. So very, very good. Please. Nice. That was a good turn. All right. So here is the fall of Samarkand, which is not a sad day. It's actually a good one. Um, we'll be seen as liberating a city-state and of course our rep with them was something like 70 something and now it should be much better all right so let's dole out these promotions and before I forget I'm thinking we're gonna do some fighting here this turn so our boats will be a little bit um, and maybe a clean up the next turn so I think this would be a good turn to tell off Portugal Stop spying on me as you request. Unacceptable. Good. They're upset. That's good. Okay, growth in this city. Yervan and Ethiopia now allies. Yeah. Okay, we'll get that right back. No problem. Alright, in this city, let's just throw up a quick temple because uh, it's happiness. And let's see, in this city, we will build the opera house. So let's see here. Okay, Samarkand. So the question becomes, how many boat hits do we need here? Um, let me see something here. All right, we should be able to one-shot that trebuchet. Um, this guy here in the bay can only hit some of these land units. So let's do that. Okay, we hit pretty hard there. That's good. The uh, privateer's in range, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Hit the city. Hit the city. Conquer the city. Liberate the city. Yeah, see, now our privateer's in the bay. 
And it says he can escape, so I, I don't know. <gasps> but the trebuchet got pushed out. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, that sucks. We could have one-shot it. <sighs> All right. Everything was going so well, too. I'm just sitting here looking at the map and uh, where the trebuchet was in order to hit it and still have a tile to attack the city from. So I should have had this guy come here, attack the trebuchet, attacked with a privateer through here, and then a ship of the line could have come here and done that. That would have been the way to go. And here you can see a crossbow got pushed out. I hate this graphic anomaly. If anybody knows a solution to this, please let me know. I know if you reload the game, uh, their icons will appear. It's just so difficult, you know, to spot, like, people's just chilling there. Anyway, so that was unfortunate. We missed out on an opportunity there. Um, so if you ever see me studying, like, a situation like this, trying to figure out who goes in what order, this is precisely why. Um, we could have had the exact same result with the exception of we'd have a ship of the line spent right here and this thing would have been just dead. Okay, so he doesn't have and he doesn't have any melee in the area, so he might just back off at this point, which means that trebuchet is going to be free to come up here and resist us up there. Okay, so let's get some eyes on the bay here. All right, two Galeuses, not a problem. We'll be able to attack them next turn, and uh, I believe this boat's heading into the city, so we're going to have two turns to intercept that. We'll just do this. Uh, we can see a frigate here. So, yeah. And these Galeuses, I think, uh, two shots each. So, dedicating almost all these boats. Let's have one chill in a place where he can go in any direction. Well, that could just be uh, this boat here. So, we'll just do something like this. We're ready to go off in any direction. Um... Here we'll hop in the water. This can be a worker that just helps out here, I guess. This was the unit that was hit. So if we can step and bombard that or uh, pillage, that would be great. But that would mean he would have to move, which means he would use up all his movement. So we have to, we would have to capture with the pikemen. Although it's starting to look like maybe we don't get to capture this turn anyways. So... We'll move him down to block from the southern border. Move him in, pillage. And then I'll leave him right here. He's not going to get shot. So that's good. Um, well, no, no. He probably will be the one that gets shot because he's weakest. And that's fine because now... Since we have to wait one more turn, the city will be out of health completely, which means he captures easy peasy. Our weak guys, the one that's in the city tile, and our musket men are out here to help facilitate the march on Tanakhtit one. So that actually works out not bad. As far as Tanakhtit land, one, two, three, four, five crossbow or longbowmen, um, which would mean we'll have to come here get chewed up by the uh, citadel, come here, pillage it, get chewed up by that citadel, come here, pillage it, and then we should be cleared. So this is going to be a difficult maneuver. Luckily, it's going to take us time to maneuver everybody anyways, but those are my thoughts. I was kind of trying to study the situation there off camera. He's got a bit of a decent setup over there. So anyways, uh, moving these boats along. So bummer. Such a bummer. Like this part was going so well. And then I flubbed that uh, destruct, uh, destroying the trebuchet. So, but uh, everything else is going great. Let's see. Follow the roads. Let's just take a look at the cloud here. Roads heading west. Um, I'm guessing if we stay on the road, we find another city tile. That seems pretty good. And we got to come over here anyways. That visibility come up here. So it doesn't matter that we're leaving this kind of incomplete right now because we're going along the roads here, which appear to be <laughs> Roman Janissary. <laughs> Must be a city-state gift. Um, so, what we would do here, then, would be to 
move our great general here so it can protect our melee, which means now we got to move in here. And this is actually nice because that means he can pillage. He'll, all, he'll certainly be the one that gets shot. He's the weakest. He can pillage and push in. So that works out pretty darn nice. Go ahead and land him to do that. Um, we saw a Portuguese boat over here. Ah, there he is. Cool. All right. So, yeah, that's the thing to do. We'll bring him over here so that when we declare war in Portugal, we can tag team this guy. Uh, for this reason, I kind of want to just go up on top of him so we can get an idea of where he's at. This seems good. No, uh, we'll, we'll come down here, get a little more mobility. Do a pincer attack. Maybe Long Bowman can reach wherever he's at because um, this is a uh, caravel replacement, so it is capable of deep water travel. <clears throat> so it's not like we can force him to stick along the coast so that our longbowmen can reach him. Okay. So he is, in fact, retreating. That's a bummer. All right, first things first, get this guy out of here. Let's see. We got a promotion for him. He does naval. Two, four, six, eight. So he cannot capture Porto from here, which is fine. We're not actually ready to do that. Um, this would be the turn we denounce her. So let's do that. Yes. Um, actually, let's do that. Ah, spices. Is this going to be our only spices? The thing that's holding me up is I don't want to be in a situation where we need to make trades with her and we do it after the denunciation. Yes. Because I don't want to devalue, you know, whatever trades we could be making here. Um, let's see. Promotions. Same can searches for science. Demands Portugal. Public directoration from Greece. China and India now friends. That's okay. Songhai and Portugal now friends. That means Songhai is going to hate us even more. Which actually, if you think about it, makes sense. They've been kind of tag teamed up. I think they were the two that were talking about uh, when we first. Oh, he hit this one. Well, that's okay because pillage move here. That uh, seems to work. So we'll just do that now. Pillage move there. Okay, so in the event that we're not actually going to need all of these longbowmen to weaken this, I think we would want this one to be free to move over and this one free to move over. So maybe we start with these three because it's going to take at least three for sure. And it looks like even more. Oh, maybe it, take all, maybe it takes all of them. I'm just trying to look at would it be useful to step and shoot so that he can then move here. It would be along the road. We'd be Yeah, so let's do that. Step and shoot. Is that one? It is. Okay, so no step and shoot here. We just move. Um, no re reason to pillage anything else, so there we go. Create puppet. Spices are ours. And I believe we have a city-state. Ragusa, was it? Cahokia. Okay, I thought it was Ragusa. No, Ragusa is the one that wants the wine. No, Valenius wants the silk. I don't know. I thought Ragusa wanted something. Do we have Ragusa? Did we already satisfy it? Yeah, okay. Never mind. What's uh, Cahokia? That's Faith, I believe. Okay, so we'll move the Great General over simply because we can. And now we'll actually have a, a city connection. This guy's healed. So let's head south as long as it's safe to do so. It appears to be. He'll come over here. I kind of want to dangle this worker because we can tear up this road. We're not going to need it by the time all is done. But there's a cannon here he'll capture, and we're not in a position to punish such a capture, so I don't want to do that yet. Uh, let's have him come along then and just repair these for now. <coughs> or at least this one. We don't need both. All right, drop that. We're already working at tile, I believe, so science just improves. That's good. Put some eyes over there. Okay, we are along the roads, but we really just kind of want to head west at this point. Oh, this is a road tile. Okay. So we get some roads like this. Hill there. Should be fine. Should be good. Ooh, okay. So that's where you're going to hide, eh? That's fine. This is not the turn we're going to be attacking you anyways. But we are definitely going to be attacking you. <laughs> dun it, dun it, dun it. All right, so now can I go into this little lake? I can. All right. It looks like we got shot, too, so let's use somebody who's fresher. That's a double promotion. That's a double promotion. He's got the most health, so let's uh, take the chance there. 
And we looks like we have another worker, so let's hop him in the water. <clears throat> you know what? We got some uh, ship of the lions coming over here. Maybe we shoot down this camp, and this worker can capture it, because we don't need two workers over here, really, probably. <clears throat> I believe this is the turn that we denounced her, so we're okay there. And let's see. The uh, cargo ship is in. One, two, three, four. So this is... Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. That's where we want him to end up. We'll just move the Admiral there. Uh, so, if we wanted to, we could take a turn to heal up. I think. Right? Because we're in friendly borders. Um, yeah, that should be fine. We should be healing up all the boats we can while we can. Um... That's true, too. I didn't think of that. It might be that one of his Goliaths are in the city tile. Okay. So it's kind of nice that the turn that we're going to declare war on Portugal, we're able to get these units out of here. Um, he can come at this city. We can hold it just with the city bombard alone, probably. But we'll have units in the area. We can throw off shots. Sucks that we couldn't do more damage to his military here, but, you know... Um, so anyways, everybody's pretty much in a decent position. Um, getting eyes on the frigate seems good. And these guys are clear to go in either direction, so we're flexible. You sit tight. Come down here. As we're, uh, having our little roundabout, the, uh, this guy with his, uh, altitude training will be able to hop into hills and then set up and fire if we even need him to. I'm guessing we probably will, but remains to be seen. Okay. Get out of his way so he can finish his movements. Whee! Okay. I guess do that. Alright, next turn. It's war time. It is war time. And let's just stay here. Uh-oh! What? Why is this? Oh, because we denounced Portugal? Because it can't be because we took Samarkand, because we liberated Samarkand. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, we have denounced the same leaders. Positive. You have denounced the leader made by de declaration of friendship with. They have denounced us. Um, denounced England, Greece, the Aztecs, denounced by Greece. Huh. I'm not sure why this is happening. He was friendly with us, I thought, but okay. Like, uh, I know Greece was hating on him. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Alright, lots going on here. Lots going on here. So first things first. We hit sci uh, scientific theory. So we buy a public school in the capital. And we populate its specialist slot. Um, as for the other cities... Two turns, three turns, two turns. That should be fine. Um, the opera houses are somewhat important. Uh, the temple, not so much. Um, happiness is fine. That's the only reason we vote. So we will go ahead and suspend the temple for now. And get that a little expedited. But the other two, getting the... Uh, uh, opera houses up first seems to be fine. All right, Earthseek's a great engineer. Well, guess what? We are working all the engineer slots that we have, I believe. Losing grasp on Ragusa. It's just food in the capital. No big deal. Spice is connected for Cahokia. Hong Kong seeks investors. How are we doing in Hong Kong? 85. Um, perhaps that's where we send our spy, just to make sure we hold on. Uh, we're going to have Samarkand, and Samarkand normally has... Um, dies, but it's not showing an actual specialty. Is that because it got conquered and then not? Let's see. Lancer. Okay. This is why his second wave is. He does have a capture unit within range, even though it's hard to see. So, um, let's see. This guy's got to get in range to hit, so we're not too worried about him. Uh, this guy can reach here. This guy can reach here. That seems like good. Uh, for now, those two should be able to handle it. However, we 
we have boats here that should be able to reach and well no because if we attack Portugal this turn two of these would kill that um, we're right on top of the trade route alright so we could have two of these come kill that and that frees up two of the ships aligned to be somewhere to where they can strike here or strike there I think let's count that out we could probably do that for you um, let's see trade we'll repair that and uh, let's see here we're definitely gonna go to industrialization get our own Gatling guns going on find out where the coal is get our uh, hopefully start working towards an ideology okay alright so we know we're gonna do this let's just get that out of the way He comes along here, can actually hit Tenochtitlan. Uh, let's see. So if he comes here, he'll be able to step shoot. If he comes here, he'll be able to step shoot. Um, this guy comes here, and because of the roads, we can actually shoot this turn. So that's very nice. And then he'll be here, which should allow us to skate across the hills and come in here next turn. So we should be prepared with all of that. And uh, let's see here. Can I get this worker, let's say, finish? And then we'll radar down here. Okay. So he should be safe to come here. This is nice because then we can hop up on the hill and play on the hills. Get eyes on the south. We would expect him to be coming from this direction. But looks like he hasn't lost interest in Samarkand. So... Uh, liken that. Um, who would be the most likely to pay us to war her? Right, it's not going to be her. Uh, we know it's not going to be them. They're friends. Um, he hates us. So, and we're already at war here. So, nobody here. Um, <sighs> so, Aztecs and us and... China um, and their song high. Okay, so we you can just pretty much expect that nobody's going to. Uh, let's see. Let's take one last peek at Raga and Antwerp. Antwerp's over here. Luckily, our main navy's inland, so they won't even be able to reach us. We will have units coming here, but that does mean we're going to miss out on three happiness. We're also going to be getting some stuff back from trades that was the whole idea so there we go we are going to declare war and this brings us yep yep know about that know about that know about that let's just take horses silk for citrus incense all right so we actually have extra incense and stuff now we will take a look at that momentarily for now let us take our weaker boats we got double 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 Double. There is no weaker boats. <laughs> That's good. Um, how much would we do against a frigate? 33. That is not showing the Admiral. So if we get the Admiral in there. Um, let's see here. I don't want to... Uh, we could shoot from here. So let's do this. And now let's show us. It does. Plus 15%. So 36. That's more than a third. So three of these takes that. It's more important that we kill that than we kill this. So if we can actually do that, let's do that. And can you just capture this? No? Okay. So we would want those three to be diagonal like this. Um, did we pillage that boat? We did not. Let's do that now. 200 gold. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's shoot there. And there we go. That's a clean three, three hit. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So now that we know that that was a successful deal, let's go ahead and protect the Admiral. Hit that for 56-ish. Yeah, we don't want to get the melee boats in range, so we'll just... Uh, perhaps if we do leave this in range of a counterattack, it'll uh, get the other Galeas to come out. Because a single Galeas hit, especially that damage, it's not going to hurt us. Um, the only problem is now none of our boats are in range to represent down here so that's uh, 
maybe an issue, I don't know. Um, he'll head down here, see if we can find any other cargo ships flying around. He will come over here. Um, do we need this worker to land anywhere? No. So something like that. Seems good. Alright. <clears throat> Just do that. Oh yeah, we got a uh, Portuguese ship up here to contend with. I forgot to check in on that before. So we'll come over there. And we'll come over here. There we go. And definitely this longbow is not going to be able to do anything, so no problem there. Two... Getting eyes over there. We're going to back off because there is civilians here. We don't want to be seen. Uh, he's going to come up. Come on. Come on. Alright. Everything's holding down here. Good deal. Let's tear up the last of these roads. So that worker's kind of pretty much done down there, I think. Hill. Roads. Do we have open borders with him? Nope, and he just announced us, so it's not going to happen. Luckily, it doesn't appear that we need him. Uh, Greece is his enemy. I'm not sure why he's hating on us, but whatever. I don't mind. Okay, he's got limited visibility. Looking good. Uh, heal up. For now, we'll just do this. We could act as a blocker, but a cannon is a ranged thing, so he's not like he's going to zoom out the roads and hit my people. We'll just... Uh, in fact, we'll do it like that. Okay. Happiness trades. What do we got going on here? We now have duplicate incense. So that's something. And duplicate whales. Which is kind of a problem because we actually have more whales than we have people we're not at war with. Um, we could trade for cotton, but we don't have any need for cotton. So let's just sell... He'll probably still give us full value. He doesn't hate on us. He tried to be our friend. Um, down here, he hates us, I think. So I'm not sure how much we'll get from him. Although our silk is a duplicate. Six. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're still at 17 happiness. Anyways, we are a good portion past the half hour mark. I may have made a mistake not leaving more boats to back up here. That would be very unfortunate. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, this caravel, it was an accident, but he could recapture if need be. And that's going to wait have to be the way it is. This uh, privateer needs to be available for capturing cities. Don't know how fast that's going to happen, but I did want to try and keep this protected. And unfortunately, he can actually hit. This is a Lancer. He can hit next turn. Um, but luckily... He's only got the one crossbow, so maybe that means we have time to react. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.